Coordination Council National Strike Committee Belarusian Democracy Movement Anarchists Government Political Parties Public Associations 1373 injured including children 4 plus dead 32000 plus arrested 50 missing the 2020-2021 Belarusian protests are a series of ongoing political demonstrations and protests against the Belarusian government and President Alexander Lukashenko, the largest anti-government protests in the history of Belarus. The demonstrations began in the lead-up to and during the 2020 presidential election, in which Lukashenko sought his sixth term in office. In response to the demonstrations, a number of relatively small pro-government rallies were held. The protests intensified nationwide after the official election results were announced on the night of the 9th of August, in which Lukashenko was declared the winner. Svetlana Sikhanuskaya, the main opponent of Lukashenko, rejected the results as falsified and claimed instead to have received 60 to 70 percent of the votes. On the 14th of August, she announced the creation of the Coordination Council with membership applications open to all Belarusians who agreed that the official election had been falsified. On 12 October, the Coordination Council issued Lukashenko an ultimatum to seize all repression, free detainees and step down from the presidency by 25 October. After Lukashenko failed to comply, nationwide strikes began on 26 October. On 23 September, Belarusian state media announced that Lukashenko had been inaugurated for another five-year term in a brief ceremony which was held privately. The following day, the EU published a statement which rejected the legitimacy of the election, called for new elections, and condemned the repression and violence against the protesters. On 2 October, the EU introduced sanctions against 40 Belarusian officials accused of political repression and Vote rigging. Lukashenko himself was not included on the list. The Belarusian government responded by imposing symmetrical sanctions against an undisclosed list of EU officials. Moreover, Lukashenko accused the EU and other Western organizations of trying to harm Belarus by destabilizing the current regime while supporting the opposition. The protesters have faced violent persecution by the authorities. A statement by the United Nations Human Rights Office on 1 September cited more than 450 documented cases of torture and ill-treatment of detainees, as well as reports of sexual abuse and rape. At the end of 2020, the Vyasna Human Rights Center documented 1,000 testimonies of torture victims Alexander Lukashenko has been the head of state of Belarus since 1994 and did not have a serious challenger in the previous five elections resulting in being referred to as Europe's last dictator by media outlets. Under his authoritarian rule, the government has frequently repressed the opposition. Lukashenko had faced greater public opposition amid his handling of the COVID-19 pandemic, which Lukashenko has denied as a serious threat. Of the five elections won by Lukashenko, only the first one in 1994 was credibly deemed free and fair by international monitors. The protests, nicknamed the Slipper Revolution and the Anti-Cockroach Revolution, were initiated by businessman and blogger Sergei Tikhanovsky when he made a reference to the children's poem The Monster Cockroach by Kornichukovsky. The original story, published in 1923, concerns a dictatorial yet fragile insect and his brief, chaotic reign of terror over all the other animals. It has been compared to the emperor's new clothes. In his reference, Tikhanovsky compared Lukashenko to the cockroach in the story. In the original poem, the cockroach is eventually eaten by a sparrow. Tikhanovsky refers to a slipper signifying stamping on the cockroach. Tikhanovsky traveled across Belarus and streamed interviews with random people on his YouTube channel Country for Life. Most of his respondents expressed disagreement with Lukashenko and the current government. Tikhanovsky was detained in late May 2020 by Belarusian authorities and was formally accused of being a foreign agent. In June 2020, street protests against Lukashenko took place. Several opposition candidates were registered for the 2020 Belarusian presidential election, but many of them were arrested.
During an interview, Lukashenko claimed that the opposition protests were a part of a plot orchestrated by foreigners, whom he suggested might be Americans, NATO members, Russians, or even Ukrainians. On 19 June, Lukashenko announced that he had foiled a coup attempt, resulting in the arrest of main opposition rival Viktor Babarika. According to CNN, Babarika stated that the charges of bribery and corruption were falsified and the arrest was politically motivated to stop him from winning the presidential election. When Babarika was detained by authorities, people began walking in the streets to show their disapproval. Opposition activists, protesters, journalists, and bloggers were